Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace and a tiny book about. This is our brand new uh, publishing platform for inspirational authors and enlightened entrepreneurs who want to create tiny books, tiny courses, and tiny communities that make a big impact in your life and in your business as a entrepreneur. My phone is ringing in the background, which is quite annoying, but I'm gonna, going to ignore it. All right, so uh, I created this brand new uh, short little tiny book for those of you who are interested in a uh, kind of novel approach to writing a book that you know changes the world and changes your life. These are very, very small, tiny uh, pieces of content that teach a single concept uh, you know, really quickly, this is free. You can download it uh, in our community. And I'm just going to cover really quickly, uh, you know, some of the core elements of our process. Again, you can check out a tiny book about.com for uh, a bunch more of these that are coming throughout the month of May and June. Uh, you know, certainly we're trying to actually demonstrate the exact ethos and approach that we're teaching and that we're uh, recommending. And these are tiny workbooks, tiny books, tiny audio courses, bingeable, you know, kind of bite-sized uh, courses and content and uh, books that we really hope teach a, you know, a very uh, simple concept that can really make a big difference in your life. So this one here, without any further elaboration, is what I call a bridge book. And a bridge book introduces an idea that inspires or invites an experience, preferably both. Uh, and the difference between inviting and inspiring an experience is really important to uh, distinguish uh, between. So if you're using your book to build your business, you want to have an experience that you offer at the end of the book that truly transform, transforms the lives of your reader. And you don't want them to get that from somebody else, right? So if you are writing a book about meditation, for an example, and you're really like gung-ho and passionate and feel a deep sense of purpose around teaching mindfulness or various types of meditation, why would you want to actually not offer something at the end of the book that allows folks to you know, kind of interact with you in a more fulsome way? And I'll tell you really quickly from my own experience, that was my first experience uh, having started meditating about 20 years ago uh, when I was in my uh, early 20s. And I um, read a book that really inspired me to pick up meditation. And I sought out the author of that particular book to, you know, actually learn from him. And it turns out that he had passed away. So this individual was, uh, you know, was, unfortunately had died, right? So I had to actually begin that journey by searching for other folks who could guide me on this path, right? Now, hopefully, you know, that's not a common experience that people uh, pass away at a young age, uh, you know, who are writing books. But if you are, you know, really trying to build your business as a teacher of some kind, you want to actually have the experience on your side of the divide that you can offer your audience uh, to engage with immediately thereafter, right? There's some other uh, concepts in here, uh, you know, that I, are really important. So having a unique idea, a eureka insight or moment, an aha, uh, you know, kind of process or proprietary process, a new, a new lens, or even an outrageous approach that you can share with your audience that changes the way they look at a problem that has perpetually plagued them or, or held them back. I like to call this the transformation trigger. It's the unique insight that you offer your audience that is different than what other folks have read in the past or seen from other authors in your space. Um, you know, again, we talk about the, you know, the importance of having both a inspirational, like you want to inspire folks, but you also want to invite them, right? And people ask all the time, no matter how many times I cover this. So I'm really making a point to cover this at, at you know, some degree of depth here. There is a, you know, you don't want to inspire an experience, like I've already said here on this recording, that your audience needs to get from someone else. You don't want them leaving 
finishing the book and then going and searching Amazon or for other authors or other people in their local communities that actually offer that experience themselves. Of course, it's great to inspire people to learn new things and want to explore new avenues. But if you're doing this for your business, you really want to focus with, you know, on the end, beginning with the end in mind. So beginning with the actual, you know, one thing that you really want your ideal reader to do when they finish the book. And again, this could be an event, a course, a club, a community, a cause, a cohort, a commitment, a product, a private program, a platform, or even a, you know, persuasive pitch to join you in some kind of great life a changing adventure. And there's lots of examples of, you know, this like authors who are, you know, leading, let's say retreats in Costa Rica or, you know, people in the self-help personal development space, uh, NFT, Web3 developers who have these sort of similar kind of, you know, life-changing uh, like adventures that they offer their audience. I'm not really, you know, knowledgeable enough in the NFT space to know if that's, you know, a legit thing or not. But, you know, again, people are inspired by words, but transformed by experience. That's really, really the, the key piece of this whole process. And again, this is a book that's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a tiny book that's available on our platform right now that you can download if you want to learn more about this. I'm presenting this as if it was a slide a presentation, but it's not. This is actually a PDF that's available with an audio uh, and video tutorial this video as well will be included. All right. Remember, begin with the end experience you truly want to offer before you write the book. It may seem counterintuitive, but it will literally change the way you change the world and change your life as an inspirational author and enlightened entrepreneur. You will not make, none of us will, a lot of money from selling books. It's very, very, um, you know, you can make a lot of money, let's say, but you'll make a lot more money with having an impact, by the way, an influence. It's not really just about money, certainly not for me, but I know most folks think a best-selling book is going to be this kind of avalanche of cash. It's really not. I mean, that's why you see the people who are, you know, perpetually writing uh, these sorts of books in the nonfiction space who are teachers or leaders or, you know, folks who are doing those sorts of, you know, kind of like those Anthony Robbins types of people or Eckhart Tolle types of people, they're constantly doing events, right? Workshops, programs, courses, online webinars, seminars, you know, like even Matthew McConaughey recently did some sort of like, you know, um, potentially spammy, scammy kind of like seminar based around, you know, his like recent foray into the self-help space. I, I don't, I mean, I don't, I like him as an actor. I know nothing about him as a human, but I've seen some people kind of casting some, you know, aspersions on his, um, you know, recent, you know, live event or whatever. But all of that is because the books themselves generally are not where authors in the inspirational space make their money, right? It's, and make their impact. And again, I, I want to really, you know, kind of double down on that because it's not just about money. It's about influence. It's about sharing your gifts. It's about teaching people and affecting the world in a positive way. At least for me, that's my primary uh, motivation going forward. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. If you want to join us, if you're interested in downloading lots of these sorts of step-by-step uh, sort of, you know, workbooks and concepts. And I'm going to have all sorts of cool things uh, available for those of you who want to write books, teach courses, and build tiny communities that really can have a huge impact on the world and ultimately, for sure, on your entrepreneurial entrepreneurial life and livelihood. Thanks so much for watching. As always, feel free to ask questions if you have them, and this will be available in about 10 minutes to download on our platform. Just follow the link below and you know, feel free to grab it and enjoy. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. I appreciate you listening and I'll talk to everyone soon.